Okay, today we just have a quick update on my chopping mall killer bot. Um, basically, last time you saw this, it, well, there's been what three videos? Had the treads, the lower section. I've got the upper body. Got the forearms, head. I've got uh, LEDs in the top, and I like this part of the head. I don't have the LEDs in here on this body part because I didn't think of it when I was making this body part but I've gone back in and I've changed the file so if any of you want to build this project when I'm all done there will be a channel for routing the wires down for putting LEDs um, into these sections I haven't decided yet whether I'll try and drill those out because I could drill those out and get a really long drill bit and angle my way up into the hollow part of the uh, body and then fish the wires down and then print new transparent pieces to put over the front. I just haven't decided whether I want to go to all that work or not. Um, what I have left to do right now, and as you can see you've got these wires coming out of it, that's so I could test everything. Um, but what I have left to do is to design the uh, plate that's going to basically glue in here and then that plate will hold the battery pack and we'll have a separate door and power switch to get in there. You can see there's lots of room in there. I've uh, ordered a simple uh, RC remote control from uh, AliExpress which uh, they claim is on the way. Usually that kind of stuff takes about two weeks so I might have one more week to wait before that gets here. And um, yeah, let's see. Let me put this thing down here. I think we can drag the wires behind it. They might they might get pulled, they might short out. We'll see. Let's just find out. And I've got this remote battery box for right now. You can see it moves right along pretty good. In case you couldn't see the, the front part. And the light there. And if you wanted to get a better close up of uh the arms. Now the way these uh, parts are made in sections you could articulate this body to turn but if you did that then you're gonna have to articulate the arms so they don't hit when it turns. So I simplified my design for myself and just glued the body on straight so then I could just use these fixed uh, claw arm designs and um, let's see everything here I designed with the exception of the head the head is a remix of a head I found on Thingiverse. Well, actually, there's a whole kill bot up on Thingiverse. And the weird thing is, when you download the file, it's the size of your thumbnail. It's just a couple of millimeters inside. So I took that file that was on Thingiverse and I blew it up. I think it was about 6,000 times, 6,000 percent. And, uh, made some modifications to it because I didn't really like some of the things and of course designed the, the transparent parts to go in and that kind of stuff and decided well that was a pretty good looking head uh, before I'd even started this project you know I was checking the internet to see what was out there as far as uh, printable 3D files and I saw two guys had files up there that you had to would have to pay for if you wanted to uh, use them and they all had things that I didn't agree with when I looked at the movie and looked at their files there were things that I didn't like they weren't the same they weren't right and it's true with the one on Thingiverse too but uh, I decided I'd just design all my own make my own mistakes and uh, when it just got up to the head I was kind of running out of steam and I went well let's take a look at that one head and even though the heads are kind of different on them this head isn't too bad it looks pretty good so we're getting there. The uh, next video hopefully will have the uh, battery pack built into the robot and the remote control assuming it gets here. And at that point when it's done I will put the files for this uh, build up on Thingiverse in case any of you want to uh, make your own.